going to mug me. I might get a mug you. Is that gorgeous or what, eh? And I believe I can run the Chief of Marathon. Download Veely now. Mother's Day. Oh my god, it's so soon. Let's get super prim and proper. Let's dress up. Let's do high tea. There's no one else who's going to be there for you like your mother. Wow. I think my mom's really gonna love this. <laughs> I just love it. Are the seasons overwhelming you and you're stuck in a holiday rut? Not to worry. Adju is a skilled baker with her very own local bakery shop. The niece is a crafting and sewing expert extraordinaire, and I'm a passionate florist who just wants everyone to enjoy flowers as much as I do. Between the three of us, we'll get you in the mood and give your holiday celebrations a personal handmade touch. One that's unique, crafty, and delicious. Together, we're gonna give you a holiday makeover. Mother's Day is almost here, and Adjua, Denise, and I want to figure out what handmade gifts we can make to show our moms how much they mean to us. <laughs> so let's talk Mother's Day. Oh my god, it's so soon. I um, know! What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> so Allison, Adjua, and I were sitting around trying to think about what can we do for our mothers. We want to do something special, and of course, we're just being total slobs, and we thought, well, Shouldn't we do something a little bit fancier for our mothers? So that's why we thought, let's do high tea. Let's get super prim and proper. Let's dress up. Let's, you know, drink out of fine china and use our pinkies. And let's do exactly what we're not doing right now. What do we want to do project-wise? We can do it here in the dining room. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll do something on the table, like a table runner. My mom loves gardening and plants and flowers, of course. So maybe I'll do a planter idea. Because Adjua's mom lives in Edmonton, she's going to make her an edible care package. And of course, Adjua has desserts covered. I'll do some little cakes and like tarts and some sweet things like that. Awesome. <laughs> Pizza is not high tea. It's not on the menu. Unless you cut off the crust, maybe. Okay. Cheers to that. Cheers, and we won't have styrofoam cups. No styrofoam cups. <laughs> pinkies up. Oh, of course. Yes, the pinkies. Pinkies up. <laughs> pinkies up, darling. <laughs> this is a photo of me and my mom when I was a little baby. My mom is extra special. She raised my sister and I as a single mom, and she just gave us everything. And I have no idea how she did it on her own with two of us, and she's amazing. Tema's my daughter. She's almost two, my first child, and she is just such a joy to have around. Can Popo draw? <laughs> My mom loves entertaining, so I'm going to make her a photo table runner. So I'm taking photographs from four generations of women within our family, and I'm transferring those onto fabric, and then I'm going to make corresponding napkins that also include different heirlooms and photographs from our family. So I want to do a table runner, and instead of measuring, I'm just going to eyeball, throw my fabric over, see how thick or narrow I want it to be. I have all these great photos. I'm just gonna start laying them down to figure out how best to put them in. I definitely wanna play up some of my favorite images. This one for sure. And this one of my mom and my grandma. So maybe what I'll do is I'll leave a bit of space for them and then I'll make a note to blow them up bigger because I do wanna have a variety of sizes just so that it's more interesting. Now I'm ready to play with these images on my computer. I think there's so much color, so what I want to do is kind of give them all a warm tone, kind of drop down the exposure a little bit to give them all uh, a bit of an older feel, and I think that will just help to make the whole table runner look cohesive. But yeah, I'm happy with this. For Mother's Day with Denise, Allison, and myself, we are going to have a high tea at Denise's, and I'm going to make donuts, I'm going to make scones, I'm going to make tea for all things that are very traditionally high tea. I think it's going to be amazing. I think we're going to have fun. This is my mommy, Augustina Abel Duncan. I'd say my mom's probably one of the most confident women I know, and she really passed that on to me and my sisters. My dad passed away when I was in my early 20s. My mom just got up and dusted herself off and went on with her life and not discrediting the fact that she lost her best friend, but it's just amazing the kind of strength that that would have taken and I can't even imagine it myself. Nama is my sister. 
Madra, you're so cute. You're so right. <laughs> <laughs> I called Nava to come and help me out today because she's the keeper of most of the photos. When my dad passed away and my mom moved out west, she was the one to take all the pictures. I think I should put together like a care package oh, or something for mommy, you know, perfect. to send her because like. Denise's mom is here, and Allison's mom is here, and Mommy's not. Mommy's so not here. I can make a box that's a cookie, and then these will be on, on the, the on oh, the box. That's perfect. So then she'll open up a box, and there'll be like pictures yes. all. Of, it'll be like an edible care package box. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got that whole package that's going, yeah. and making all the stuff with high tea. Yeah, it's it's all doable. I just won't sleep. What? No. <laughs> you know what? I can help you. Nam is not a baker. She's not a cook. She's she's. Um... <laughs> okay, no, but seriously, seriously, if there's something that I can do that's easy, my sister is in the kitchen with me. My sister, who she cooks, I think I might have to keep her away from the important stuff and give her things that are easier for her to do, but still let her think that it's important. Perfect. And so we better get going right now. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna make the chocolate bombs. Chocolate bombs. Yeah. Traditionally at high tea, you'd see petit four, you'd see scones, you'd see jam and clotted cream. But I'm adding donuts and the hot chocolate bombs. You're gonna put a little bit of vanilla in there and then pour it over the chocolate to melt. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then you're gonna mix it. Oh my gosh! Hot chocolate bombs are Kind of like chocolate truffles, but not really, except you would take this ball of chocolate that's coated in chocolate, put it into your warm milk, and you just stir it around, and voila, you have hot chocolate. And here is the... Don't tap it, you're gonna break it. Oh, Crack sorry. It. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. There. And done. Yes. Yes. High five with your nasty head. <laughs> I was looking for something in the store that would be perfect for something that was antique. I'm looking right at it. Oh my god, I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> no, no, you're not. <laughs> Mother's Day is right around the corner. Denise, Ajo, and I are going to throw our moms a lovely tea party, tasty treats, beautiful flowers, and thoughtful crafts that are bound to put smiles on their faces. I think it's gonna be amazing. I think we're gonna have fun. High tea is the perfect thing for a Mother's Day celebration because you just get to indulge a little bit and eat cute and pretty desserts. So we're um, starting to make the petit four. Lovely. And what is petit four? <laughs> petit four is a small cake. It's a very traditional brunch dessert. What is this? This is um, this is marzipan. It looks tasty. <laughs> no. Here. Yes. Here. <laughs> To make the petit four cake, I'm going to sandwich raspberry jam between two layers of almond and orange cake and marzipan, coat it in fondant, and then put a little rose on it to make it look pretty. Oh my god, I'm gonna eat this. No, no you're not. <laughs> this Mother's Day for my mom, I'm making an amazing edible care package. Nava, can you get the tray of cookie pieces? Yes. The pink ones. Carefully, slowly, well, have you never dropped anything in your life? Hey, hey, right. Let's just relax now. Okay. The process for making the edible cookie box is, first we'll have to roll out large squares or shapes for the sides of the box and bake those off, start decorating them, finish the edges a little bit, place some pictures that I've scanned on there with edible ink, and then finish the lid as well. This is the actual cookie box for the edible care package. Mm -hmm. So, so okay. you just want to get a straight line. See how this is not, it's, yeah. Don't, don't Oops. blow on people's food. <laughs> now we're gonna build the actual box, put it together. Okay. But we use sugar as the glue. It's really hot. I think my mom's gonna be over the moon when she sees the box. When then when she sees the notes and the pictures around it, I think it's gonna be a little bit emotional for her. I think she'll be really happy to have something that so much love went into. There. Yay. Yay. Pantless mama. <laughs> Clothing optional. My mom grew up with horses, so she's had horses her whole life. My mom is magic. 
My mom and I 100% are best friends. Oh, mama. Oh, this looks amazing. I made them for you. Mom loves anything at home. So she loves gardening, she loves plants, she loves antiques and decor. So she loves changing a room around and painting a wall and all things domestic. Okay, you sweep that floor. Let's sweep that floor. Hattie is my beautiful daughter. And since I've had a daughter, my relationship with my mom is even more beautiful. There's just things that moms do and it's selfless. One day, at the very least, we need to celebrate our moms. This Mother's Day, I'm taking all the things that my mom loves, so her love of plants, horses, antiques, and I'm putting it all together and I'm making a planter. A planter essentially holds plants. It can be used indoor or outdoor. This one is made specifically for mom's indoor table, but she can absolutely put it outside. The bulbs that I'm using, so they are not even close to blooming, so that essentially mom will see them come up and it'll be a long, slow process and she'll get to enjoy them a lot longer. So now I have to find the vessel. I was looking for something in the store that would be perfect to hold the bulbs something that was antique, something that could be upcycled. Terracotta planters, too obvious. This bathtub would be amazing, except that I'm not gonna fit this on the table at Denise's. This could be perfect. I've got these great vintage crates. I've had them for a while. Maybe I attach the horseshoes on the side of the planter so it's functional, it can hold the moss, some plant material can kind of spill out of the side. It's great. I think we found our planter. I think my mom's really gonna love this. Who gets this excited about soil? I do. Everything's done. We're good to start packing up mommy's care package. Okay. She's gonna love this. We've started to make everything we need for our Mother's Day tea party. Denise has chosen her pictures for the table runner. Ajwa's baked some delicious treats. And I found my planter. This could be perfect. This Mother's Day, I'm taking all the things that my mom loves and I'm putting it all together and I'm making a planter. To start, I need to give it a whitewash paint job, kind of shabby chic, put my moss around, fill that with dirt, add in my plants, and then I'll attach the horseshoes on the side and we're done. Scrub dub dub. <laughs> now I can start to paint this guy. The way this wood was cut created these ridges here. So when I pull my paintbrush over, naturally it's not going into the ridges and I want that. So that looks amazing and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna slap on more paint and hide it. I'm gonna go with it. I'm sanding my planter now just to give it a little more of that shabby chic look. That looks great. I think everything should have a layer of moss on it. Who gets this excited about soil? I do. It's springtime, so absolutely bulbs are a must. The quintessential springtime flower, tulips, hyacinth, muscari. I'm bringing the planter over to the high tea. It'll sort of act as a centerpiece, although it may or may not be showing the blooms yet, so it's just kind of earthy and pretty. I think I want my hyacinth in the center. Back. I remember in kindergarten for Mother's Day, we started to grow marigolds, and everybody else's marigold was showing a bloom except for mine. So here I am crying, and my teacher pulls me aside and she explains that, in fact, my flower is the really special flower because it's still going to bloom and my mom's gonna get to see that beautiful process. Oh, so cute. It even smells like I'm in the rainforest. I've got my horseshoes. I'm gonna just give it a quick scrub with some steel wool just to get off any of the schmutzy bits. So these beautiful screws will just fit perfectly and you won't really see them because they're that same lovely tone. My mom, I don't want to put money on it, but I feel like she might cry. She's going to be so joyful and so happy and so thankful. I'm done. 
I'm totally done. I'm scanning all the photos so that I'll get digital files of everything, and that way I can use the filter, manipulate the images, resize them, make them perfect for the table runner. Being able to take images and memories and transfer those onto fabric and then create something from those fabric makes your photos instantly more creative. I can do more with it once it's on fabric. I can put it in different places, do different things to it. All right, time to cut these out and iron them onto my fabric. The pictures are looking so great. I can't wait to see this all come together. And it's just awesome having all these memories in one spot. I'm gonna cut out my fabric first so that I have a smaller piece to work with. Just make sure I leave some margin around to sew it together. All right, now I'm ready to iron these on. I'm just gonna flip this over right side down. Lots of heat and lots of pressure, that's the key. All right, let's reveal this beautiful transferred image. <sighs> yes! Oh my gosh. Love that. So pretty. Yay! My mom's got a lot going on. She can't always pull out her little photo albums and brag to her friends about her family. So this way she can invite them over and, you know, really show off all of the generations. And I think it'll just be a nice way to display all of these memories. All right, I think my mom's really gonna love this. So I've been in the kitchen all day with my sister. It was so much fun, mostly because we're grown up and we can tell each other to move or shut up or whatever and that no one takes offense anymore. And she knows that maybe the baking isn't her strongest suit, so she will you know, readily ask me what, what something is. And she's, I think she's just as excited being here as I am. Everything's done, we're good to start packing up mommy's care package. Okay. She's gonna love this. I would say I'm fairly confident that the, the box is gonna get to Edmonton in one piece. Or at least less than three pieces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the whole set. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to Mummy. Thank you for helping. You're welcome. Kind of. <laughs> Oh my god, it's beautiful. beautiful. Oh, the desserts, beautiful. We get to eat those. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Don't cry. I am. I'm emotional. This Mother's Day, Denise, Adjoa, and I decided we wanted to class it up and throw a high tea party to celebrate our moms. We each made one of a kind presents inspired by our moms. Let them know how much we appreciate them. We hope our moms love their gifts as much as we loved making them. Oh my yeah. god, it's That's beautiful. beautiful. <gasps> oh, it's it? amazing. Oh, look, it's it. amazing. <laughs> it's my family. <laughs> Denise dressed the table with a dining set, which included a photo table runner with four generations of women from her family. The set was completed with napkins, decorated with a photo of an heirloom bracelet that belonged to her grandmother. Look at this Look bracelet, it. that's Popo's bracelet from her it's mom and dad. Me bumps. Oh. <laughs> the desserts, beautiful. We get to eat those. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Adjoa baked delectable desserts and prepared savory sandwiches for the celebration. Tiered tower stands held traditional treats like sweet petit four cakes topped with fondant ribbon roses, blueberry scones with clotted cream and jam, and lemony tarts. As well, Many sprinkled donuts and hot chocolate bombs added a twist on the traditional desserts you'd find at high tea. <gasps> oh yeah, oh, that's it's so beautiful. beautiful. And we have a planter for you. Oh, with the horseshoes. Oh, you use some horseshoes. <gasps> I How love gorgeous. it. <laughs> Do I love it? I brought the earthy vintage planter I made for my mom to add some floral decor to the table. Overflowing with moss and ferns, this upcycled vintage crate is filled with muscari, tulips, and hyacinth, all ready to release their spring blooms. Horseshoes were used as handles and paid the perfect tribute to my mom's favorite horse. <laughs> I just love it. I'm gonna cry. Oh, it's oh, don't cry. I am. I'm emotional. <laughs> No, it's really oh. lovely. Oh, it's really happy lovely. Mother's Day. Oh, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. So nice. Ah. 
We'd have to get somewhere to put all this. Oh. Hi! Hi, Mama! <laughs> wow, you guys look amazing. Did you open the box? Yes, I did. Wow, what a talent. It's just amazing. I love the planter. It was, it was a surprise. I had no idea what she was doing. She is very creative. I know, she's my daughter and I'm proud of her. Big time, yeah. <laughs> Denise had brought pictures of my parents into the table runner, so that was really, really warm. And I felt I wanted to explain the stories behind all the pictures to everyone. It was really special. I'll never forget it. They are all I have now. So for them to do something like this for me is like, wow. Oh cheers, cheers. Oh, cheers. 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 Cheers.